dapat dimanfaatkan melalui STARS UKSW yang dapat diakses dengan mudah oleh seluruh mahasiswa. UKSW menjadi tempat untuk saya mengasah potensi diri dan membangun karakter. Ditunjang dengan lingkungan yang mendukung dan teknologi yang mumpuni menjadikan kami terus terpacu untuk berkompetisi meraih prestasi. Pendidikan merupakan salah satu senjata untuk mengubah dunia. Apalagi di era digital seperti saat ini, kita dituntut untuk beradaptasi dengan perkembangan teknologi. Di UKSW, kami dipersiapkan untuk menghadapi segala tantangan. Tak henti memberikan yang terbaik bagi generasi. Berbekal profesionalitas dan humanistik, ragam prestasi menjadi bukti. Kampus dengan akreditasi A, 30 besar pemberingkatan bidang kemahasiswaan pada tahun 2020. Tak hanya itu saja, versi Webometrix tahun 2021 UKSW menjadi perguruan tinggi swasta nomor satu di Jawa Tengah, serta peringkat 18 tingkat nasional untuk kategori perguruan tinggi negeri dan perguruan tinggi swasta di Indonesia. Tantangan terus menanti, wujudkan kualitas pendidikan, Inilah bakti UKSW pada negeri. We are the creative minority.
didirikan pada tanggal 31 Oktober 1985, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana atau UKDW Yogyakarta merupakan pengembangan dari Sekolah Tinggi Teologi STT Duta Wacana yang didirikan pada tahun 1962. Visi UKDW adalah untuk menjadi Universitas Kristen unggul dan terpercaya yang melahirkan generasi profesional mandiri bagi dunia pluralistik berdasarkan kasih. UKDW senantiasa menanamkan nilai-nilai kedutawacanaan dalam diri setiap sivitas akademikanya. Nilai-nilai ini memuat landasan dasar pijakan untuk berpikir, bersikap, dan beraktivitas. Tahun ini adalah tahun yang berat bagi kita semua, termasuk Duta Wacana. Namun kita bersyukur bahwa Duta Wacana dalam melaksanakan proses pembelajaran jarak jauh ini setelah berusaha keras untuk menghadirkan infrastruktur yang terbaik. Kita tetap meyakini bahwa pendidikan manusia yang seutuhnya itu sangat penting, termasuk ketika kita melewati masa-masa krisis yang seperti ini. Kita berusaha untuk tetap menjaga kualitas dan penelitian dan pembelajaran di kampus UKDW ini setinggi mungkin agar kita mencapai pendidikan manusia yang seutuhnya. Salam Duta Wacana, Tuhan memberkati kita semua. Terletak di pusat kota Yogyakarta, Indonesia, saat ini UKDW memiliki 7 fakultas, 10 program studi S1, 4 program studi S2, 2 program studi S3, dan 2 program profesi. Fakultas Arsitektur dan Desain dengan program studi Arsitektur, Desain Produk, Magister Arsitektur, Profesi Arsitektur, Fakultas Bioteknologi dengan program studi Biologi, Fakultas Bisnis dengan program studi Manajemen, Akuntansi, Magister Manajemen, Fakultas Teologi dengan program studi Filsafat Keilahian, Magister Filsafat Keilahian, Magister Kajian Konflik dan Perdamaian, Doktor Teologi, Doktor Studi Lintas Agama dalam program ICRS Indonesian Consortium for Religious Studies. Fakultas Teologi telah mendapatkan akreditasi secara internasional dari Association for Theological Education in Southeast Asia atau ATSEA. Fakultas Kedokteran dengan program studi Kedokteran, Profesi Dokter. Fakultas Kependidikan dan Humaniora dengan program studi Pendidikan Bahasa Inggris. Fakultas Teknologi Informasi dengan program studi Informatika, Sistem Informasi. Research and Development merupakan hal penting bagi institusi pendidikan. Kultur kampus yang berbasis pada penelitian dan pengembangan akan menghasilkan SDM yang cerdas, kritis, dan kreatif yang nantinya akan memegang peran sebagai agent of change. Oleh karena itu, UKDW mengembangkan beberapa pusat studi yang senantiasa menjadi wadah bagi sivitas akademikanya untuk melakukan penelitian dan pengembangan. UKDW juga mendukung seluruh kegiatan dosen dan mahasiswanya untuk menerapkan ilmu pengetahuan dan teknologi guna memajukan kesejahteraan masyarakat dan mencerdaskan kehidupan bangsa. Dalam perannya, sebagai institusi pendidikan dan untuk mendukung kebijakan kampus merdeka-merdeka belajar, UKDW mengedepankan pentingnya jalinan kerjasama untuk menciptakan kultur belajar yang inovatif dan sesuai dengan kebutuhan.
Upa Dewi memberi saya proses pendidikan dan pembelajaran yang seutuhnya. UKDW merupakan tempat bagi saya untuk mencari ilmu pengetahuan dan melatih keterampilan hidup. UKDW membentuk saya menjadi komunitas pembelajar yang mengenali diri sendiri, mampu bekerja sama, dan menghargai dalam kebinekaan. Kuliah di UKDW membentuk saya menjadi generasi profesional yang cerdas intelektual, spiritual, dan emosional. Bergabunglah bersama kami di Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana Yogyakarta. UKDW Jogja. Bisa belajar, bisa. Hello, Globis participant. Good afternoon. Welcome back to the Indonesia session of the 2022 Global Education Experiences, Globis, with the team Living in the Pandemic Time. We will start the afternoon session uh, soon and I would like to welcome all the participants from Changrang Christian University, from Universitas Kristen Satya Wacana, and also Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana. If this morning we have learned about the, uh, the waste management and how we can contribute to a better world by uh, doing simple things, waste management practices, and we also learn about uh, how the effort Community, community have made uh, to tackle the inequality, especially in vaccination access. Now, in the afternoon session, we will explore the SGD number three, good health and well-being. And we will see it from two perspectives. The first one is uh, from mindfulness, and the second one is from the food that we are consuming. So today, Uh, we will join into kind of activities. We will begin with the practice of um, meditation, which will use uh, calming Japanese music. And later on, we will have a live cooking to prepare sim uh, simple and healthy snacks. And uh, I would like to inform you that for the mindfulness session, we would like to call uh, the participants to find your most comfortable uh, position so you can join the meditation practice. All right, so uh, let's invite our moderator for the afternoon session, Reverend Nani Minarni. Uh, I would like to uh, inform you about a little bit about Rev Nani. So Rev Nani is the university chaplain and the head of campus ministry at Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Rev Nani Minarni. Over to you, Bu Nani. Okay, thank you, Mbak Ante, for introducing me. Good afternoon, and may God bless us all. I hope the following session will make us all more enthusiastic and refresh. I will be your moderator for two next uh, two sessions. And I invite you to learn, and we will continue our lesson to learn something special from Yogyakarta. I believe it is worthwhile to try it in our daily life, especially during this period of pandemic. In this session, we will learn about carrying the soul and the body as part of self-responsibility. In terms of well-being, we have here that body and soul connected to each other and giving impact to one another. The question is, how to maintain our soul and body in balance and make us feel healthy in our life. Today, we have two speaker who will guide us to learn about two topics. The first topic is about meditation or mindfulness. Practice as the way leading to self-love and carrying the soul. And second topic is dealing with caring the body, 
by discerning our eating habit. We will learn how to cook good food for our body. At the end, we will open a session of question and answer. So, if you have questions on previous session, please do not hesitate to ask our speaker. In addition, you can write your question during the presentation by using our chat box. And then I will resume the question and direct them to both speaker respectively. Okay. Uh, pa Steph, are you ready? Okay, yeah. Maybe you can check your uh, microphone. Yeah. Okay, can you hear? Yes, thank you. Okay, I would like to start the first session by talking, uh, taking a quote from Dalai Lama. He writes, Peace of mind is the basis of healthy body and a healthy mind. So, peace of mind, a calm mind is very, very important. I would like to introduce you to our first speaker. Please welcome Pa Stefanus, Reverend Stefanus Christian Haryono, MICF PhD. I will introduce you to the participant. Rev. Stefanus was born uh, 57 years ago in Jepara in a city well known as the Wood Carving Center. He got his Doctor of Philosophy degree in Spirituality from Claremont School of Theology, Claremont, California, USA, in 2019. He wrote a dissertation entitled The Interspirituality of Mother Teresa and Ki Ageng Suryo Mataram, a Dialectical Study of Mystical Contemplation and Transformative Service. He is currently working as an assistant professor at Faculty of Theology, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana. He is also the director of Center for the Study of Spirituality and Spiritual Formation, Universitas Kristen Duta Wacana. His area of studies are spirituality, liturgy, and sexuality. And his current publication is entitled Mystical Kinship of Creation. A Foundation of Eco-Spirituality for Interreligious Ecological Movement, published in International Journal of Indonesian Philosophy and Theology. Rev. Stefanus, I hope you could explain to us what mindfulness about is. Moreover, what has a mindfulness to do with medicine meditation practices. Rev. Stefanus, please, time is yours. Thank you very much, uh, Reverend Bernani. Uh, good afternoon, uh, participants. In this session, uh, we are going to practice mindfulness. Basically, mindfulness is a simple awareness within ordinary life of a defined presence, here and now. Nowadays, uh, during uh, the pandemic COVID-19, mindfulness uh, becomes more familiar, and it is needed for our lives on, on the way to respond to reality without reactively. So let's practice to the video I have prepared for us.
Welcome to secluded by Karma in Yogyakarta, a peaceful place with provide restaurants, ethnic bamboo, villa, and solitude space for people who are looking for spending their leisure time. On this shady lawn with fresh air, we are going to practice mindfulness with Japanese traditional music instrument. Kender, saron, kendang, rebab, seruling, and a modern music instrument, keyboard. This is an enterprise of spiritual contextualization in Indonesian culture. What is mindfulness? Mindfulness can be described as being more fully aware of our own experience in the present moment in a non-judgmental way. Mindfulness practice steer us toward and give us a ways of practicing kind of holistic attention. In practicing mindfulness, we are not trying to change who we are, but to become more fully present with our experiences, with our body, thoughts, and feelings, and with their impact on our life. Mindfulness is a form of contemplation. about the past or the future. Many of our thoughts are about things we regret from the past or we are worried about in the future. We obsess, worry, grieve, imagine the worst happening in the future and replay situations from the past that cause us pain. Self is the state of healing. So, self-love is the theme of our mindfulness practice today. Learning mindfulness Start wherever you are. Whether you are busy, distracted, anxious, depressed, jealous, peaceful, or tired, all you need to do is to take a moment to pay attention to yourself. When we are living from a high sense of well-being, our bodies, brains, and psyches know it, reflect it back, and cultivate capabilities for more of the same. It is a pathway to optimal living, maximizing our potential and living our life fullest.
Now, allow your eyes to close. Let's get grounded. Start by finding a comfortable position. If you are sitting on a chair, allow your feet to be flat on the floor with your legs uncrossed and your spin straight so that your posture support your intention to be awake and aware. If you are lying down, allow your legs uncrossed with your feet falling away from each other and your arms lying alongside and slightly away from your body. Breathing in, breathing out. Breathe slowly and deeply, but most of all comfortably. Bring your awareness to the sensation when the body is in contact with whatever you are sitting or lying on. Spend a few moments exploring these sensations.
As you focus on hearing the gamelan, bring your thoughts about the past. They might be worries or anxieties or sad, happy or natural thoughts. There is no need to try to control your thoughts in any way. Let thoughts come and go on their own, just you did with the son of Gamelan. Notice how react to whatever comes up. Hold these reactions in a spacious and compassionate awareness. Explore with friendly curiosity the physical sensations coming and going in the body. It may be helpful to say to yourself silently, it's okay to feel this, whatever it is. 
it's okay to allow myself to be open to it. Breathe with them, letting them be just as they are. It's okay not to want this. Whatever it is, let's see if I can be open to it just as it is. Come to gateway into deep sense of friendliness toward yourself. May I be free from suffering. May I be happy and healthy. May I have easy of being.
when you are ready to move on, invite a sacred presence, Jesus, Mary, the Holy Spirit, or healing light, to come be with you that you are beloved. Notice the way that you feel calming, healing, or restoring. Now, allow your eyes to open. Before surfacing from this interior space, notice the gift you are receiving from this practice and allow that gift to flow throughout your entire body and extend into very part of your inner world. Self-love is the best way we can take care of ourselves is to be settled in our own internal reactions, not from a place of denial or suppression or from a place of chaos but from a place of love, acceptance, and gratitude. Peace be with you. Indeed, we have seen here how Japanese traditional music used as back, uh, background music during meditation and can help us to be more relaxed. Let us hope nobody sleep after this meditation practice. 
And I hope everyone can get benefit from this practice. Rev. Stephanus, thank you very much for sharing this meditation practice with us. And we do hope this practice can help us nurture our soul and maintain it in balance. Okay, participant, if you have a question after a medit meditation practice session, please write in the chat box and I will resume for the speaker at the moment of Q&A after we learn uh, from a, a second topic. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, we will continue with our second topic. Meanwhile, Ibu Chanti prepare to the live uh, cooking. I will read about her uh, CV. In this section, we will learn and practice carrying our body with healthy and good food. When we talking about food, remind me of Hippocrates, a Greek philosopher who brought, let food be the medicine and medicine be the food. We learn that food is very important for our body. By consuming good food, we will be healthy. But by consuming unhealthy food, our body will be sick. Indeed, we need for medicine. I will introduce our second speaker about uh, Ibu Janti. Completely name is Ibu Janti Bignyo Pranoto. Ibu Janti got her bachelor degree in psychology from University of Wollongong, New South Wales, Australia at 1986. A veteran of 27 years in various corporations, multinational companies in Jakarta, Indonesia, Hong Kong, Singapore, Sri Lanka, and Sydney, Australia, in human resources, telecommunication project management, and merger or acquisition. Certified raw food chef on 2014. She is active in training and consulting for whole food, organic, vegan, raw, plant-based restaurant, and cafe. She also founder of Pasar Kemisan, farmer market and artisan community in Jogja since 2014. She is also founder of Seninan, youth community and self-healing program in Jogja since 2019. She is focused and certified in following holistic program, Ayurveda Nutrition Management Practitioner, Soundbat. Conscious dance, journaling for healing, and food journaling. Ibu Janti, are you ready? Yes, I am. Thank you. Okay, I think I will uh, go to the Ibu Janti. <laughs> okay. Then, um, you know, 
the first one, which is the bobo cha cha, uh, this can be taken also as a breakfast. Okay. Excuse me, your microphone? Yeah, it's on. Okay. Can you hear me okay? Not clear? Okay. Small voice? Do I need to shout more? Maybe I, I, I have a, one question before we continue to cooking. Uh, Ibu Janti, uh, uh, how about the history of Bobo, Bobo Cha Cha? The oh. name is very interesting to hear. It's very nice to hear, Bobo Cha Cha. Yes, it's actually uh, Bobo is from Malay. Mm -hmm. uh, it means uh, porridge or bubur in Bahasa. Okay. And uh, Cha Cha is just my naming. Mm -hmm. of, Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Gimana? Sudah di on. There you go. Okay. I think it's on. Right now. Hi. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. Should we start again? Okay. Yeah. Hi everybody. Mm -mm. How are you? <laughs> okay. Yeah. Hi everybody. How are you? Good afternoon. It was such a relaxing uh, session uh, by previous uh, speaker, and I think uh, we will continue with yes. our uh, healthy, uh, simple cooking. And today we're taking two recipes of uh, healthy snacks. Okay. The first one being the bobo cha cha. Uh, I will include also some sweet potatoes, mm -hmm. uh, some pumpkin, and also mango uh, as topping. And then the second one, we are going to make uh, fresh spring rolls uh, with vegetables, uh, some vermicelli some tofu um, with the dip of tahini and mm -hmm. miso uh, sauce. As you know, tahini is made from uh, uh, sesame seeds. And uh, then we put some miso. Miso, as you know, is the fermentation of uh, soybeans. Mm -hmm. From soya, so yeah. that is vegetable. It's all um, plant-based. Plant-based. Okay. okay. And, uh, We'll do that. So, should we start? Yeah, yeah okay. you can start. Okay, so I have made uh, some uh, porridge uh, from the sago pearls. Uh, this is already uh, cooked and done, so it will be easy to uh, uh, basically the way to cook it is that uh, just boil some water. When it's boiling, you put in the sago pearls. I bring some sago pearls with me. So it's mm. something like this. All right. Um, then you cook it until uh, it is done. Then I also put a little bit of uh, rock sugar, mm -hmm. just a little sugar. bit of rock sugar. So it gives uh, some sweet taste. And uh, I cook some coconut milk. This coconut milk. In the coconut milk, you put uh, some Himalayan salt uh, to give uh, more uh, umami taste. Uh, but at the same time, also, I add uh, some pandanus leaves. This is uh, pandan leaves, all right? So you cook it uh, and then uh, let it simmer. Uh, so that you uh, you can smell the uh, aromatic of the uh, the pandan uh, leaves uh, boiling along with the uh, coconut milk. So that's about it. If we would uh, like to try, probably I can uh, get the 
the cup a little bit. But sorry for the participant. You cannot try it directly. Yeah, it's <laughs> so a, sorry. It's a pity. So you have to try. <laughs> yeah, you, you have uh, to try the, it in home. The recipe at home. Yeah. It's very easy. Uh, this I'll get some for the crew over here. Then you just get a little bit of the sago pearls. All right, something like that. And then you add more coconut milk. Oops, too big. So I can just pour this like that. And I add some toppings of the sweet potato. It's the purple sweet potato. You can add some uh, kabocha, which is a pumpkin. And to freshen it up, you can add uh, some mango. So yeah, there you go. It's very refreshing. It's actually uh, very uh, filling if you have it in the morning as mm -hmm. a uh, breakfast. That's also possible. So there you go. That's the first dish. Oh, okay. You can give it a try. Okay. Well, it looks so beautiful. Thank you. Very colorful. <laughs> okay. Yes, the food has to resemble the uh, yeah. the rainbow color. So, rainbow color. Yeah. So if you uh, try some food, you can get some. Okay. There yeah. you go. You can give it a try. Okay, I will try. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So that's the first one. Uh, I just wanted to add that uh, sago has a very good uh, antioxidant um, ingredients mm. as an ingredient. So it's uh, it's very good to have it in the morning just to uh, protect yourself throughout the day. How does mm. it feel? Yeah. How does it taste? Yeah. So sweet. Very sweet. sweet? Yeah. yeah. Not too sweet. Not too sweet. Not too sweet, yeah. Okay. No, it's Good. Okay. Yeah. So, yeah, that's the first one. Mm -hmm. It's pretty easy. Uh, you can do it within um, 20 minutes, maximum 30 minutes. It's already done. All right? Okay. Okay. Yeah. So, we I have a question. Yeah, sure. So, uh, uh, only mango, or we can change other uh, in ingredients. I mean, uh, we can change mango with uh, apple or s banana or something else. Uh, banana is good. Okay. Um, I would recommend also some passion fruit, mm -hmm. which is uh, marquesa. Oh, marquesa. In uh, yeah. Bahasa, and uh, that's also good. Something that uh, will give the feel of a uh, surprise. Okay. Okay, because the other two. It's very calming, mm -hmm. it's very uh, filling, so the fruit uh, should give some uh, surprising feel, uh, taste to the whole thing. Why, why uh, uh, sweet potatoes? Why sweet potatoes? I mean, uh, something uh, special in a nutri uh, nutrient or something else? Why uh, sweet potatoes? You yeah, uh, sweet potato and also sago, it's all the mm -hmm. same thing. Uh, umbi umbian, yeah? It's, okay. it's from the earth. Mm -hmm. uh, and it's um, something which is uh, uh, a lot of uh, nut nutrients mm -hmm. in it, uh, especially uh, the vitamin Bs. Mm -hmm. And also uh, vitamin C in in carrot. Okay. Uh, sorry, in in pumpkin. pumpkin. Uh, it's orange and it's full of beta carotene. So, so. it it is very rich with vitamin, yeah. Yes, it okay. is. Okay. Yeah. Maybe if participant uh, very curious want to know and uh, have a question about the uh, first menu, <laughs> first recipes, please just raise hand, and you can. Uh, uh, Give a question directly to uh, Ibu Chanti. Is there? No. <laughs> okay. No. Not yet. All right. Okay. How? Oh, we can sure. continue. Should to we the continue? Second? Okay. Yeah, sure. Okay. Second the reasons. second one. If you can just okay. move yeah. over here, so we're not too crowded. The second one is. Let me just take this away. There you go. Right. 
So the second one that we are going to make is very easy. Uh, it is the fresh spring rolls. Uh, and it is full of uh, chopped vegetables, mm -hmm. some uh, tofu, uh, some vermicelli. Uh, this is uh, what you call that a salad, iceberg salad. lettuce. Mm -hmm. And what else? It is wrapped with uh, rice paper. This is the rice paper wrapper. Oh. Okay. So that is not plate, rice paper. This is not? Not plate. 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 Yeah. No, it's not. It's rice paper. Okay. Yeah. So my hands are clean. Uh, I just put some a little of water mm -hmm. to wet it off. Can you all see me here? I hope you can. Uh, just put a little bit of uh, lettuce iceberg, some cucumber, some carrots. This, the cabbage, because cabbage is a little bit uh, tough to, to eat, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. so I actually blanch this. Mm -hmm. So again, boiling water, then put the chopped cabbage mm -hmm. for, I don't know, 30 seconds, and then uh, you just uh, strain it, and then uh, it's half done. Still have the crunchiness of the, uh, the cabbage, but, um, it is easy to digest mm -hmm. for our digestion, of course. Um, I put some tofu, then I put uh, some cilantro, down patumbar, yeah? And then, I'm just, it's a bit dry. And then I just wrap it. Something like that. Okay, that's the first one. Oh, I forgot. I have something here just to give some crunchiness to the spring roll. Mm -hmm. It's actually the uh, toasted, uh, what you call that, sunflower seeds. Sunflowers. Yeah, sunflower yeah. Seeds. seeds. Yeah. So, make another one, quick one. Just uh, wet the whole rice paper so that it softens the texture. All right, something like that. You just put some vermicelli, probably I forgot to put some vermicelli just now, but it's there. Again, some salad, then the cucumber, some carrots, Cabbage, cooked cabbage, bit of tofu, right? Bit of cilantro. Cilantro has a very good antioxidant as well, mm -hmm. and also good for detoxing. You just add a little bit of this, mm -hmm. right? Okay, then we just wrap it. So we have two rice paper roll, and uh, when we talk about the dip, we have this uh, miso and tahini dip. Mm -hmm. The recipe is somewhere there. I've already shared with the team. Um, so this is 
tahini, which is the um, uh, which is the sesame paste. Uh, to the tahini, I add some um, miso. Do you know miso is the fermented soy? There's a lot of benefits to this. A lot of vitamins in this. It looks not attractive, but <laughs> has a lot of <laughs> benefits. Yeah, yeah, and it tastes really good. Even you take like one uh, table, uh, teaspoon, and then you put it in hot water, mm -hmm. and it becomes a soup already. Okay, okay. and it's very nutritious uh, soup. Um, to this, I have to take a look at my cheat <laughs> so that I don't go wrong in terms of sharing the information. In it also, I put some coconut amino, coconut amino or uh, soy sauce. Uh, it's salt, uh, salty soy sauce. With coconut amino, it is less salt. It is less uh, natrium chloride. Mm. Okay, so it's yeah. better. Yeah. It is uh, uh, made out of coconut. Uh, and you put uh, also ginger and garlic mm -hmm. to give it more taste and also give more warmth mm -hmm. to it. Um, then the last thing, uh, I put some sesame oil a little bit uh, and also the dried chili. So it gives more uh, taste and tanginess. Uh, some lime juice mm -hmm. and a bit of vinegar. Okay. Yeah. So you can also try this book. Okay. Okay. So this is for breakfast, for lunch, or this is dinner? more for snack. Oh, and, only uh, for snack. Yeah, for yeah. snacking. Okay. You can have this at ten o'clock or uh, three o'clock or even uh, an entree before your lunch. So okay. this is good. And several in, in ingredient is raw. Right? Um, most of them, most of them is uh, raw. are raw. Okay. Uh, although tofu, tofu, I would consider tofu is already cooked. Okay. okay. So tofu is cooked. Mm, what else is cooked? Uh, the cabbage is cooked. Cabbage. Um, and vermicelli. Okay. I just put hot water uh, on it. Okay. Okay. So that's that. That is the uh, uh, fresh spring rolls. Looks so nice. Thank yeah, you. This is important. Yeah, you so should nice. try as well. Okay. You have the privilege to I try. <laughs> I will bring to my office oh, okay, for my sure, snack. Sure, 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 sure. <laughs> okay, very nice. Yes. Yeah, thank that's, you. That's all for today. Actually, I only have two recipes okay. uh, to share. That's that. Thank you so much. Okay. If you have any question, let me know. Any curious? Yeah. Uh, audience, ask questions. Okay, maybe we can see it uh, on there. Not yet. Not okay, yet. is everybody asleep or something? <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay. okay. Janti, we can see it. Oh, on okay, there. Sure. Yeah. sure. Sure, sure, sure. Yeah, thank you very much, uh, Ibu Janti. It's very, very, very interesting. I learned about how to cook a good food from a simple, uh, very simple. and easy. Yeah. Okay. Very simple ingredients. Ingredients. Uh, yeah. Very local, I should mm -hmm. say. Uh, it's easy to find uh, in our local market, mm -hmm. uh, but yet it's it's very nutritious. Uh, I have a question. How about the the what do you say? This pepper rice pepper. Rice paper. Rice paper. Rice paper right? Yeah. Where we can get this one? Uh, that's available even in the supermarket. It's available. Okay. Yeah. So. Yeah. So we, we just eat after. Sure. After. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. No problem. Okay. Very nice, Ibu Janti. Thank you very much. You have shared something Most special mm -hmm. about a snack from a vegetable. Yeah. Uh, now we have oh. Okay, some someone have a question in a chat box? Okay, I will I will read. Yeah. I think the ingredients of healthy food are relatively expensive for students. <laughs> oh <laughs> okay. Moreover, cooking for one person person is 
costly mm. compared to buy the ready food. Okay. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So what is okay? So what is your suggestion on the the first step of having healthy food, but very affordable? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I think it's very clear. Yeah. Yeah. So it's please. very clear. And thank you for mentioning this. Um, I think uh, what I've, you know, um, repeat myself again and again, and also um, if you follow my uh, social media, is that uh, most of the ingredients that I selected to use uh, for daily cooking are mainly or supposedly a local and seasonal ones. All right, so I don't go to a supermarket and looking for something which is not grown uh, in the area where I live. Typically, something like that. But what you've mentioned, uh, it's relevant. Um, you know, cooking for one person is probably too much. Uh, and, you know, while uh, the, let's say, the the food outside, the food you can order is, is easy and probably more, uh, it's cheaper, all right? Um, what I can suggest, the first one, is that you have to understand the, uh, the possibility to choose, okay? Uh, so the first one to choose is that choose something which is healthy, and healthy means uh, less, uh, less oil, Okay, so less gorengan, yeah, and then second one is less sugar, uh, so less sweet, uh, especially this is the trap in um, Jogja, in, in Java Island, uh, there's a lot of sweet stuff, and also food, which I think you yourself question, where does this food come from, or where does it made of? Okay, uh, because uh, these days you never know where the food is coming from. Mm -hmm. So that's why uh, when you said it's expensive, mm -hmm. it really depends on the question uh, whether you're consciously looking for something which is grown locally. I think that's the best way to select um, the kind of food mm -hmm. uh, which would be considered healthy. The way the food is being cooked it is less uh, oily, less frying, uh, less processing, mm -hmm. basically, something yeah. like that. The lesser it is processed, the better. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, thank you very much, I Ibu Janti. Uh, any question? No. Okay. Uh, but I'm interesting. Uh, I'm interested with your uh, statement uh, about the food uh, as a daily. We need that, and uh, I have a question about what is the simplest and easiest way to starting our eating habit. You said that it's less oil, less korengan, because I really like korengan. Yeah, and and don't don't <laughs> deprive yourself from what you like. Uh -huh. Okay, but lessen it. Okay. Make less. it less, yeah, and then slowly, slowly, uh, the 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 body can learn. Okay. Okay. From the habit of eating. So I think that is connected with the uh, uh, staff, ref, ref staff, uh, uh, give uh, for us today. We need to practice yeah. meditation. Also Absolutely. practice. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you. Okay. Any question? Oh, for uh, staff. Okay, I will read for Pak Steph. It is hard to still weak and confused when we do a meditation. We often get sleepy and unfocused. I think uh, I think one of participants sleep when when learn about meditation. Okay, do you have any suggestion how to do it better? Please, uh, Rev Steph, you can answer the question. Yeah, thank you very much uh, for your questions. Yeah, um, how to 
maintains just uh, awake is uh, something uh, tempted for us, you know, when we we practice uh, mindfulness or contemplations uh, like that. And uh, how to keep uh, awake? So I think uh, the tip is just to to be relaxed, to relax, and then uh, if you if you sit you know, uh, on the chair, you try to sit uh, a straight. Yeah. So it will help you uh, stay awake. Yeah. And another one. I think uh, you have to choose uh, what is the, the right time for you. Yeah. For example, maybe in the mornings, you know, or in the evenings. Yeah. For example, like that. That's my my answer for that one. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Steph. <laughs> yeah. I hope it, that is more clear for the uh, participant that have question. How to manage? Uh, learn to week. Week, yeah. I think a week more in, in the morning is not easy for several young <laughs> After, during pandemic. Okay, uh, any question? Okay. Meanwhile, uh, waiting uh, a question. I have uh, other question for, for Pak Steph. Uh, I think that is very important for 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 me and also for other participant. Pak Steph. Uh, what is difference between prayer and meditation? Because I think when we pray is very short, <laughs> and then meditation is need a, a long time. Uh, I, I follow your uh, practice meditation more or less is uh, thirty minutes, but when I pray just five minutes, <laughs> more faster when more faster when I want eat, so I pray more faster. <laughs> so what the difference is between prayer and uh, meditation? Yeah, um, I think what we did is not a prayer, mm -hmm. but this is a meditation, mm -hmm. a contemplation. And uh, when we uh, when we do uh, meditations, we have to prepare, for example, like time or mm -hmm. place. You know, yeah, uh, you have to prepare that. So you can uh, spend your time, you know, mm -hmm. uh, and very relaxed, and it's not hurry to, you know, to do some things, yeah. for example, like that. Yeah. yeah. So it's very different, you know. And okay. uh, meditation is not a prayer. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. But meditation is a prayer tool. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, thank you. That's my answer. Uh, yeah, okay, thank you, Pastor Steph. Yeah, so that is very different, very different. We have to understand that meditation is very different with prayer. Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, here we have uh, one question again for Bu Janti. Yeah. We are talking about healthy food, it is related to our eating habits. Uh, what is the simple and easiest way to start our eating habits? Yeah, I think it's okay. very clear. Thank you. Um, the way to start is to be mindful. Okay, it is uh, directly related to pa Steph's uh, uh, way of doing meditation mm -hmm. because when you're eating, you're also meditate. Mm -hmm. Okay, you are very very conscious. You are very very uh, ready. To, to know what is going mm -hmm. to go inside your body. Okay. Okay, That's because it's going nice. inside yeah. our body, right? Okay. So you have to be very conscious of your choices. As mm -hmm. I said from the very beginning, you don't have to start, you know, buying expensive stuff, expensive food, mm -hmm. and you don't, you don't like it anyway. Okay, and it's expensive. Why? So the first one is to just, you know, be conscious to choose of what you eat, okay? And if you do eat uh, frying uh, food, uh, fried food mm -hmm. um, for lunch, probably in the evening you choose something more soupy, mm -hmm. something as a soup, uh, something which is warm, something which is sit good in your stomach mm -hmm. because 
it's not only the way you eat, but mm -hmm. then afterwards, how do you feel after you eat? Mm -hmm. Are you happy? Do you feel bloated? Mm -hmm. Bloated means a bit, you know, a lot of gas. Uh, or do you feel not well because uh, probably it starts a diarrhea? Mm -hmm. Or what kind of reaction, what kind of feelings you have after you eat something? Then if that makes you conscious of what the choice of food that goes into your body. Something like that. Oh, very interesting. Yeah. So I think we, we have a connect, connection between uh, eating and meditation. Yeah, eating and being mindful and, and being mindfulness. Yeah. Okay, eating is also meditate. I think that is very interesting. Yeah, for us mm -hmm. to learn from uh, our topic yeah. uh, uh, today. Yeah, uh, can I add also, yeah. uh, Bunani, because in Ayurveda, mm -hmm. uh, the knowledge that I learned uh, in India is basically when you eat, mm -hmm. it is advisable not to talk. Oh, I so see. So you can feel, you know, mm -hmm. the process of eating itself. You yes. know what goes into your body. Mm -hmm. um, so you know that's yeah. also yeah. mindful. Okay. Otherwise, if we eat like this and then we keep yeah. talking, mm -hmm. we don't even know probably of what we're eating. Okay. Okay. That's so we nice. really and also we encourage mm -hmm. the senses in yes. our mouth, in our digestive system, mm -hmm. and so on and so forth. Okay, yeah. wow, it's more interesting. I think today is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, reference Stefanus with uh, Ibu Janti. <laughs> the right. topic is very interesting. I think we, okay. we have a oh, second we have question. Second question, okay. Yeah. Do we have a second question? Yeah. We do can have. up, can up, please. Yeah. yeah. What is, what the, is best the best way, way? Yeah. to store our food, to keep mm -hmm. it fresh, and not, not to reduce, reduce its nutrients? Yeah. Uh, the best way is to eat it right away, okay? Mm -hmm. So eat it while it is still hot, while it is still warm, while it's still uh, fresh, okay? That's the best way to eat it. Uh, but how to keep it, mm -hmm. I think the best way to keep it is in uh, glass jars or in a glass container, okay? Because glass container, mm -hmm. uh, not plastic, but glass, uh, it doesn't change uh, in terms of the temperature. Okay, so uh, if the temperature changes, the glass um, doesn't expand. Uh, if plastic, it will expand, it gives a reaction. Uh, plastic also doesn't uh, react well with heat. Okay, so that also you have to uh, uh, really mm -hmm. uh, take good care of it. Plastic container is good for dry ingredients. Okay. Okay, but if it is uh, cooked food, mm -hmm. it is uh, suggested, it is advisable to use uh, more of a glass container. Okay. Yeah. yeah, I think that's very important information. Yeah, for us when yeah. we cook, yeah. don't use plastic. <laughs> okay, maybe someone want uh, uh, ask with the directly. Someone raise hand. Any participant raise hand? There are participants raise hand? Can I say something? Okay, okay. Oh, okay, Pak Steph, please. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree with Kujanti uh, that uh, um, we can collaborate between mm -hmm. uh, the way of meditation and eating. Yeah, like, like that. Okay. Uh, usually, I I teach uh, about contemplation during a retreat, so they cannot talk each other. Just be present and try to taste, you know, uh, your food, and then uh, in that at the same time, how to stay, you know, a God saying, you know, during uh, your uh, eating time. So that is. Uh, a good way, a good way to meditate. Yeah, thank you. Okay, thank you, Pak Steph. Pak Steph, uh, we have one question again for Pak Steph. I will read for you. Do we need a long-term uh, preparation such as eating healthy food, uh, maintain uh, cycle activities, physical. 
physical activities before we have meditation session to get a holistic result. Okay. Yeah, I think so. when we plan to meditate, my meditation, you know, to do meditations, I think so. we have to uh, enough food that uh, don't do full, <laughs> you know, because uh, it's, it's very difficult, you know, uh, to concentrate because you, you will uh, uh, go to sleep. It's like, like that, Bunani. Uh, okay. <laughs> so we can eat, but don't fool. That will be make a uh, stomach maybe not good. <laughs> okay. Uh, I will invite uh, one participant from Changreng University, Christian University. Maybe uh, someone of you, one of you can uh, give a question for us uh, to Pak Steph or Bu Janti, please. Or maybe you want sharing uh, about the uh, food in your country, special food, healthy food in your country. Please, could you? The participant from Taiwan, please. So we can learn about the other food from Taiwan. I think that's it, it, that is uh, good. To sharing. Is there? Okay, <laughs> not yet. <laughs> All right. Uh, we still have time, Pak Steph and Bu Janti. Uh, I will continue my question. Uh, uh, meanwhile, waiting other participant to give a question. Uh, I have a question to Ibu Janti for Ibu Janti. Uh, could you tell us about a variety of vegetable with high vitamin and nutritional content, which or which are often easily found around us? Mm. So, uh, various vegetable. That very easy to buy in our market, and but that is very rich in vitamin or nutrient. Yeah. Yes, one of the one of my favorite uh, vegetables which can easily plant mm -hmm. uh, in the um, in our yard is actually uh, kelor uh, or moringa. Kelor, kelor or moringa. Yeah? Moringa. Okay. It's very uh, again. It's very high in mm -hmm. antioxidant. Uh, um, it's it's very nutritious. Mm -hmm. You can include uh, in your gorengan if you would like. <laughs> okay, yeah. I will try. Uh, yes, to to, uh, to change yes. the ingredients such as uh, corn, for example. Okay. You change corn uh, with uh, moringa leaves mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. because uh, corn, to a certain extent, what we have in the market uh, has been uh, included some mm -hmm. GMO. Okay. okay, genetically modified uh, mm -hmm. organism. Yes. So it is not of the organic mm -hmm. choice. Um, moringa is more organic. Uh, mm -hmm. It is grown directly in in our garden, mm -hmm. easily mm -hmm. grown in our garden. The other easy plant mm -hmm. um, where we can um, uh, get is also. Uh, Lidah buaya, yeah? yeah. Aloe vera. Aloe vera. Aloe vera, yes. Aloe vera mm -hmm. is a, has a very, very useful mm -hmm. uh, plan. Uh, you can use it for your health care. Mm -hmm. You can use it for your hair. Uh, if there is a cut in your mm -hmm. body, you can use that as a, uh, something to clean it out. Okay. Uh, but at the same time, you can take out the mm -hmm. flesh. Uh, and then uh, in boiling water, mm -hmm. you can just put it inside, give a rough sugar, you have a nice drink. Oh, right? you just that has become a beverage, I think. Yes, yes. correct. Okay. <laughs> thank you very lot, much. Yeah, 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 thank a, you very there's much. There's a lot yeah. that you can find in, in our garden. Uh, uh -huh. I can only share um, the tropical garden that uh, yeah. we have in, in uh, our surroundings. Okay. Where we live. Yeah, yeah. okay. Uh, maybe question from for for Pak Steph still the, is there? 
the participant, other participant from Duta Wacana or from uh, Satya Wacana. Oh, okay. Nobody, <laughs> not yet. Okay, Pak Steph, one again from me, from me, from uh, from me to Pak Steph. I think uh, there are two questions for for Pak Steph. Uh, about the standard rule for breathing can exercise. I, I, I tried to uh, exercise, uh, breathing exercise. Uh, there are any standard rules. I mean, uh, ho, ho, ho time to take deep in, take deep out. I mean, how ho we have to account. Uh, that is the first question. And then a second question is how to harmonize mind and feeling that rise during meditation. Because uh, Pak Steph explained about uh, sometimes we, we, we call uh, memories in a, a past, yeah? maybe we feel grief, maybe we feel guilty, maybe suffering at all. How to harmonize uh, in mind and also feeling? Thank you, Pak Steph. Okay. On the first questions, uh, I think there is no uh, an exact rule mm -hmm. uh, on that one. Uh, I think uh, the only rule is just breathe slowly, you know, breathe in and breathe out. And when you Kunani when you uh, ask uh, maybe for many uh, minutes, you know, yes. I think uh, it depends on uh, its other. Okay. You know, it's other, yeah. And then for your second question, I think uh, how to manage your, your mind mm -hmm. and feelings. I think so. the key word is just be honest to yourself. Mm -hmm. So when you feel sad, you know, because of your uh, the past memories, mm -hmm. just. Yeah, be present in your feeling in your mind. Don't uh, don't be controlled uh, about uh, your feeling and in mm -hmm. your mind. You know, just be honest and present. Uh, uh, what you feel, you know, mm -hmm. or what you come in, in your mind. I think that is the basic uh, foundations of mindfulness. Mm -hmm. Just be present. Yeah. And uh, our topic in this uh, mindfulness is self-love. Mm -hmm. yes. yeah, self-love. Yeah. Yeah. So whatever you know, uh, you're feeling, yeah. Yeah. it's okay. Yeah. So okay. It's valuable. Yeah. Okay, yeah. I think that's my, my answer. Yeah, yeah thank you, uh, Pat Steph. I think uh, the very important thing that Pak Steph explained is about be honest to yourself. I think that is the, uh, as a basic uh, when we uh, talk about self-love. Thank you, Pak Steph. Uh, here, from Hana. Yes, thank you, Hana from UKDW. A question from uh, Hana to Ibu Yanti. Okay. About healthy diet, di diet, yeah, diet or diet, diet. <laughs> Do you think what is beneficial to have some cheat day from eating healthy food? And did you do that? Okay, this is about the food and diet. Thank you. Okay. Uh, thank you, Hannah, for the question. I don't call uh, any day a cheat day because, as I said from the very beginning, also. Um, life is about choices, mm -hmm. okay? When you choose to eat what you eat that particular mm -hmm. day, it's your choice. It's not cheat day, it's not healthy eat day, but it's a choice. Mm -hmm. Every day is a choice. You want to eat gorengan, fry, frying food every mm -hmm. day, yeah. it's your choice yeah. also. Yeah. You want to eat healthy food every day, and in between, you want to eat something which really you like, you know, a mm -hmm. lot of sugary stuff, for example. Again, it is your choice. Uh, as Pak Stefano said, uh, you have to uh, 
start to cultivate to grow self love okay mm -hmm. uh, if you uh, if you feed yourself with uh, food that would be considered as something which is harmful in the future, would you call that a self-love? You have to ask that question. So for me, there is no cheat day, mm -hmm. okay? Every day is a very conscious choice uh, of what kind of food that you would like to eat. Okay, yeah. yeah. Thank you, Bujanti. I hope Hana uh, can accept the, the answer. Okay, this uh, next question is for Pak Steph. Yeah, for Pak Steph. Is there any relation between meditation and our physical health? Could you give an explanation about that? Yeah, the re relation between meditation and physical health. Is there? Okay, uh, thank you very much for your questions. Yeah, I think uh, in many ways, meditations uh, help us when we have uh, um, many problems in uh, my, our minds or our psychology, you know. And then uh, usually when we have like a depression, for example, <laughs> you know, it will impact to our physics, mm -hmm. is it right? So meditations will help us you know, to maintain and I think to reduce you know your anxiety you know your grief uh, mm -hmm. that can be impact uh, to your uh, uh, physical. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So that is have it relation. Is like a, so that is yes, have okay. relation. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And meditations will help you know help us. Okay. Thank you, Pastor Steph. Okay, here we have uh, other question. Okay, maybe maybe you can uh, scrolling. Okay, still still uh, typing. Uh, we continue our question for uh, for uh, for Ibu Yanti, Ibu Janti. <laughs> okay, when I uh, stand with you in the table, uh, learn cooking. Uh, is there a standard rule in cooking? Uh, uh, I think in, in, in ingredients we, we have a rule, like a, a one teaspoon like that. Uh, so that is important. Uh, I mean, how important is standard when we cooking? I mean, a rule in cooking. Oh, okay. Is you there? mean a. Uh the recipe yeah in, okay. in the recipe recipe for me i think it's uh, more of a guidance okay okay it's more or less mm -hmm. uh, you know along that particular recipe mm -hmm. but i think uh, everybody has its own uh, taste okay and uh, liking mm -hmm. so uh, it is again up to the individual okay okay but what um, I've provided to you today, the mm -hmm. two recipes, those are uh, pretty standard, mm -hmm. okay? Mm -hmm. uh, and in terms of the measurement, mm -hmm. etc., uh, it's it's pretty standard. So we can change what we want. Yeah, you can add yeah. uh, in the, uh, for example, yeah. in the dip. You can add uh, more uh, chili Chilies, flakes okay. if you like. Yeah. So if your taste is more uh, towards more pedas, yeah. uh, but otherwise you can, you know, you can omit uh, chili mm -hmm. flakes at mm -hmm. all because you cannot stand uh, uh, spicy food. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thank you. Okay. This one we have one statement from Chan Yunchia. Yeah. Not a question, just statement. I will read. It is pretty difficult to introduce iconic food from Taiwan if we are especially focusing on healthy diet. For example, Taiwanese fried chicken, bubble tea, and beef noodle. Mm -hmm. Oh, <laughs> it's very delicious for you, I think. Yeah, bubble tea in Indonesia we have boba. Yeah, boba, boba, boba. Always boba everywhere. We have a boba. Okay, not question, but just statement. But I think it's better uh, 
maybe can, it would can be. I, can yeah. I respond to can that? Respond, yeah. um, you know, uh, again, for whatever men that you mentioned here, either fried chicken, mm -hmm. uh, bubble tea, uh, beef noodles, uh, if you really can choose uh, the ingredients is possible. For example, when I order, let's say, I also love boba mm -hmm. uh, tea, but then I would request for non-dairy uh, milk, for example. I don't, I, I cannot stand uh, dairy, fresh dairy milk, so I choose and ask for something else, or I choose to be supplemented mm -hmm. with coconut milk, for yeah. example. Mm -hmm. And you can choose also less sugar. That's also a choice, mm -hmm. okay? And um, also for the fried chicken, mm -hmm. for the fried chicken, again, uh, you know your own uh, food intakes. You don't take fried chicken every time you mm -hmm. eat. You can substitute that uh, with uh, healthy soup, noodle soups. Um, then again, you can also choose uh, not to have too many MSG mm -hmm. in the noodle soup. Uh, and what kind of, uh, and then substitute, for example, the meat uh, with more vegetables, okay? As I said, life is about choices. You should choose whatever is best for you. So we can eat fried chicken, okay, but we have to make a balance, balance yes. with the yeah. uh, vegetable yeah. items. There, there yeah. is always a, a choice, yeah. uh, a okay. healthier choice. Okay, it's nice. Uh, healthy is a choice. <laughs> okay, thank you, Ibu Janti. We have uh, one question again. Okay, uh, still white, waiting to copy. Yeah, okay. From Yvonne. Okay, I will, I will read. Uh, I'm from Taiwan. Speaking of healthy food in Taiwan, there are some delicious food you can try. First, essence of chicken soup. In Chinese medicine, chicken essence supplement are used to support health, promote healing, can increase metabolism. Okay, maybe maybe yes. Bujanti can comment this. Yes, that's yeah. very true. Uh, that's why uh, these days also in our market in Indonesia, we do have companies or uh, artisans who make uh, uh, bone broth. Okay bone broth made out of uh, chicken or made out of uh, beef beef uh, beef broth okay so that gives a lot of uh, as you said a lot of uh, nutrients and essence uh, to promote health uh, to our body so when you feel a little mm -hmm. bit low and especially during this pandemic time mm -hmm. um, and it's still increasing again the uh, COVID uh, level. Yeah. I would suggest to promote also our immune system. Mm -hmm. It's just to add uh, one uh, tablespoon mm -hmm. of chicken broth or uh, kaldu ayam, yeah? Yes. Or uh, the beef bone broth, mm -hmm. uh, kaldu daging, mm -hmm. uh, you know, as part of your soup. You know, just add that and then mix it with your soup. It's, it's really good. Oh, okay. Thank you, Ibu Janti, for the comment. Okay, we still ha uh, we we have any question? Not enough. Okay, one the last question I think for pa Steph. Uh, I think this is important uh, for me, and I hope also important for other participants. Uh, when is the best time to meditate in order to maintain a, a balance balance? of mind, body, and feeling. It is weekly, monthly, or every day. And, and what is the reason? I mean, when we do it weekly, what is the reason? When we do it every day, what is the reason? Uh, and uh, what, uh, what are the benefits of, of uh, meditating? If we practice uh, medi medi meditation as a regular, regularly. Please, Pak Steph. Okay, thank you, Punani. Yeah, um, I think um, to do meditation uh, weekly, I think it is uh, the best, the best time, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, why? Because uh, during uh, the meditations, so we can reflect, mm -hmm. you know, 
our experience it you know, uh, during uh, weeks, you know, mm -hmm. and then we can, you know, uh, try to tell you, you know, uh, our experience. Okay. Yeah. I think that is that is the the, the, the good way you know, to choose uh, when we have to. to okay. Do yeah, thank you, Pak Steph. So, uh, I think that is more recommended when we uh, meditate in uh, weekly, <laughs> so we can evaluate, evaluate uh, our life. Yeah, thank you. I think it's time will be over for us. Uh, but uh, before we close, I hope uh, uh, like uh, what I say, like a closing remarks from uh, our uh, speaker. Yeah, from Bu Janti first. Closing remarks. Uh, yeah. I, I actually I don't have any closing <laughs> remarks because every day is a different experience. Okay. Every day is a different choice. Every day we feel different. Okay, so live for the day and just being mindful of your choices in life. Okay. Uh, yeah. Every, every day is a different experience. Yes. And True. just choice what do you want to eat. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Pak step. Uh, Please. Yeah, I think let's practice a mindfulness in our life. So that will help us, you know, to know what's the meaning of life it's, itself. Could you, sorry, I'm not so really clear. The last statement, yeah. Yeah. Uh, mindfulness, you know, uh, mm -hmm. will help us to understand what life it is. Okay. What is life? What is life? Okay. Thank you, Pak Steph, uh, for uh, closing remark and also Bujanti for uh, the uh, very nice. I, I, I learned I learn how to cook more simply and easily, but healthy for my body. And also, I hope that is uh, very. Uh, very nice to understand and can try it by uh, every participant can try in in in, in uh, on in their home. Let me give a conclusion after uh, our meeting, both first and second sessions. What we learned today: uh, first, we learn about the meditation is need needed to prepare. We need prepare before we do meditation. And meditation is more prayerful, prayerful than just pray. Eating is also meditate. To know something, what, what is in and out in our body. Not only the way to eat, but also the benefit in our body. Uh, today we learning how to maintain our body for soul and also for physic. And from Ibu Janti, we have, uh, I think that is like a quote. <laughs> May I take it uh, as a quote, yeah? Life is about choices. I think that is uh, very, very, very delicious. I use, uh, <laughs> I use uh, a, a word delicious to hear, yeah? Uh, life is about choices. What do you want to eat? And what do you want to do? What do you want to feel? What do you want to think? You just need to maintain so you will be enjoyed you, your life. Okay. Uh, thank you, uh, Reverend Stephanus and Ibu Chanti. Uh, may your life brighter as a light to inspire many people and God bless your activities everywhere you are about uh, to serve the Lord. Thank you for your enthusiastic response during all the sessions. And I, will I, I feel happy to see a participant coming from abroad. Let me mention some of them. We have students from Changreng Christian University, Taiwan. Thank you. Uh, Satya Wacana Christian University and also Duta Wacana Christian University. We hope to see you in the next program and God bless.
you all. Thank you so much. I will return the floor to Mbak Anti as the master of ceremony. All right. Thank you, Bunani. Thank you, uh, Bujanti, and also Pak Steph for the uh, uh, inspiring session. Uh, we hope that through this session, uh, all the participants can uh, learn uh, something new and can think more and be more aware about uh, about how to maintain their health, body, and also mind. And uh, Bu Nani and also Bu Janti, please uh, uh, still stay uh, in the stage. Uh, the committee would like to present a small token of appreciation to uh, the speakers and also the moderator. And I would like to invite uh, Dr. Lucia, the head of the uh, Office of Partnership and Public Relations of UKDW, to uh, hand the token of appreciation to Bu Janti and Bu Nani and also to uh, Pak Steph, even though Pak Steph joining uh, through Zoom, uh, Bu Lucia, please also uh, uh, present the, the token of appreciation symbolically to Pak Stefan. So please, Bu uh, Lucia. All right, let's give a round of applause. <laughs> okay, so uh, we will take a picture uh, of uh, Bujanti and also Bunani and also Pak Steph. Uh, yeah. In one, two, three. And one more time. One, two, three. Uh, okay, so we would. Is it enough? Yeah. Oh. Uh, not yet. Okay, uh, now let's take a group picture to all of the participants uh, in the Zoom. So uh, we would like to ask of the participant to open the camera and we will take the picture together. Uh, and also for the committee, uh, you can also join us to uh, take the group picture. Okay. We we're waiting for the participant to open the camera. If it's possible, let's open the camera and let us see your bright smile and best pose. Okay, I will count to three to take the picture. Are you ready? One, two, three. Okay, another one. One, two, Three. One more time. One, two, three. Okay, thank you so much for uh, all of uh, the speaker and also moderator and also uh, the participants who are joining us uh, in our session today. Uh, and uh, I would, yeah, Bu Nani, Bu uh, Lucia, Bu Janti, you may, uh, yeah, you may see it or... <laughs> Any, 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 anyone you feel comfortable? Right. Uh, okay. Uh, so everyone, this is the end of our agenda today. I hope uh, you learn from the session and you enjoy the session from the uh, the morning session and also the afternoon session. And uh, once again, thank you for your time, Pak Steph, Bujanti, and also Bunani, and all participants and also uh, staff from our partners, CJCU and uh, UKSW. And uh, I would like to remind all of the participants that the Indonesia session of Globis will still continue. And the next session, uh, the closest will be held on Monday and then uh, also still in Tuesday, which will be hosted by Universitas Kristen Satya Wacana. 
And uh, yeah, nonetheless, we also encourage all of the participants to uh, engage and have a lively discussion with uh, your team member. You may reflect on what you have learned so far, and also you can discuss and bring new ideas uh, on how to contribute to reaching sustainable development goals through action that we can do in our daily life. So lastly, I wish you a fruitful week and also a happy weekend. See you again another time. Bye-bye.